you want to understand cross-cultural communications, we must understand the participants of cross-cultural communications. Humans. Humans are complex. And as we have learned from this class, there are many, many layers to each individual human we encounter. It can feel like we are on a sinking ship. We are doomed. There's no winning. We're always going to make mistakes. So why even try? Guys, calm down. When you are feeling overwhelmed by the unknown, concentrate on the known. What do we know about humans? Well, let's go back to the beginning. And I mean way back to the beginning at the creation of humans. Genesis 1.27 says, So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. So what do we know? First, humans are created by God. And everything created by God is declared as good. In Hebrew, the word is tob, which does not morally mean good, but it means good as in it does its job. Like, this food is good, it's tasty, it's filling, it gets the job done. I have a good wife. Not to say that she's not morally good, but she takes care of me, our kids, the house, and she works hard. So on the sixth day, God creates humans along with the animals of earth and declares it all as good. The second thing we know from this verse is that humans are created in the image of God. What does it mean to be the image of God? There's so much to unpack and honestly, there can be an entire course based on this question alone. So to put it simply, it means we are to be like his representatives in his creation. To be holy, to be good. He gives us dominion over creation. He invites us to create with him, to multiply. He commands us to love God and love others. When one is saved, their relationship with God is restored. But when one is entirely sanctified, their role as the image of God is restored. Being a Christian isn't about us just going to heaven. It's about being the image of God. The manual for the Church of the Nazarene says, because all humans are beings created in the image of God, they are of inestimable value and worth. Finally, the third thing we learn about the creation of humanity in Genesis 127 is that God created male and female. Let's explore that a little bit in Genesis 2. In Genesis 2.18, it says, The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. All throughout creation, God is saying, Light, it's good. Birds, fish, good. Plants, good. Humans, good. But only one thing God says is not good, and that is for man to be alone. And therefore, God creates two separate beings, male and female. He created them both in his image and thus begins the human communication with one another. By this sense, communication, fellowship, partnership is good. In chapter 3, we see human nature as we know it today. Be created after the fall. Although we are the image of God, it becomes human nature to be ashamed and to protect oneself. It becomes human nature to be in pain and to cause pain to those who hurt us. It becomes human nature to work, to sweat, to bleed, to gain the illusion of power. This isn't what we were created to be or created to do. This is what sin did to us as humans. Wait, 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 wait. Is this a theology class? No. But to understand humans, we need to remember where this all started. In Genesis chapter 4, you're introduced to culture and personalities with Cain and Abel. Two brothers coming from the same background, same parents, having differing ideas of what to sacrifice to God. You can have the same background and 
different personalities. And this clash doesn't end well. Humans work like this. Personalities is what we see. Go a bit deeper, then you get culture. Deeper, human nature. But at the core of our being, we are all created in the image of God. On the outside, we are all very, very different. And these differences can divide us. They do divide us. Wars are created based on these differences. And rarely do people try to even dig deeper. But I ask that you remember this. We are all human. And therefore, we are all, whether some of us are aware of this or not, we are all created in the image of God. Don't make the mistake that because we are all human, culture doesn't matter. It does matter. You cannot understand the core of a person without understanding the shells that make them them. You definitely can't communicate with a person without interacting with the shells. Culture is challenging, but our common role as humans gives us connection. Our job as missionaries is to bypass all of these shells, not erase them, but dig deep into ourselves and the people we are interacting with or reaching out to and remind them who we were created to be, the image of God, to know and to love God.